Hi Leute und willkommen zurück zu Dragon Quest 11. Wir sind immer noch auf der Suche nach Dietrich und ich habe mich schon mal umgeguckt so ein bisschen. Bin noch mal in die Kirche gegangen zum Speichern. Das war zwar der Autosave da, aber lieber auf Nummer sicher gehen. Und wir sehen hier Wachen. Aber wir kennen ja einen Weg, wie wir die umgehen können. Hops, 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 hops. Und ich habe mich halt in dem einen Part gefragt, warum das hier ist. So, und hier war das Gebäude. Wow, nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. That's good, because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric. Long time no see, no pal. <laughs> Eric, my, my brother, my... You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out! I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you! Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Part. That's the spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. Der rollt doch gleich. Nö, 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 nö. Kann man hier nichts antatschen? Ich 
auch nicht. Was ist so das? Ich wette gleich den Soldaten draus. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Hendrik and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm-hmm. That's southeast of town. Same direction as cobblestone. Also, das trifft dich ja gut. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. Sorry, no can do. I got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> the south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrik's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay? Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. It's... <laughs> It'll take more than a few kid stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. Also müssen wir jetzt komplett auf den ganzen Weg zurück oder Hopp. Ja. Nee. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this.
し。Series point. I just said, Looks like a bit of fun. Spitzhut. Okay. Das brauchen wir erstmal nicht wirklich. Oh, Schleime. Ich glaube sogar so ein Giftschleim oder sowas. Hm, gibt's hier was? Sieht erstmal nicht so aus. Hallo, springst du da bitte rauf? Wasch mich. Mit euch los. Oh, da ist einer runtergeploppt. Blasenschleim, okay. Who else wants some? Angezeigt, sehr schön. Auch diese Knutschschnecken, ne? Widerlich. Da steht. Was bist du? Okay. Ruhlol. Ich glaube, den schaffen wir noch nicht. Look at that! A campsite! And just when we needed one. It's still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. 
Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. Behold, the Fun Size Forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the Porter Pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Geht kurz geleckt, ich weiß nicht warum. Haben wir genug? Können wir machen. Okay. Schmieden. Zweite Hälfte. Okay, was man eigentlich immer erreichen will, ist halt immer genau auf diese Markierung zu kommen. Aber dazu bräuchten wir das zweite hier. Ja, dazu müssen wir ein bisschen mehr schmieden lernen. Plus zwei, okay. Ich glaube, wenn wir es richtig geschafft hätten, wir das plus 3 oder so. Genau. Für den erfolgreichen Schmiedestück ausgaben erhältst du Perfektionsperlen, die es dir erlauben, den Gegenstand umzuarbeiten und ihn weiter zu verbessern. Das Beste daran, du musst dir nicht den Kopf zerbrechen, dass dein Hallo, was ist denn los? Warum? Es leckt kurz und dann geht die Musik auch im Arsch. Ich weiß nicht, was das ist. Nicht das echt an dem Menü? Ähm, ich würde gerne noch den Dolch machen. Beziehungsweise das Messer.
Genau, das hat nur zwei Parts. Das wird schon rüber gehen, ne? Ne, ist genau drauf geblieben. an Rüstungen machen. Hüte, Kleidung. Aha. Ach, man kann die noch mal verbessern. Lol. Man kann die richtig hart verbessern. Und den Hut auch. Kraftkonzentrat und Schmiedeseide. Das werden wir im Auge behalten. Ähm... Gegenstände umarbeiten. Na ja, es ist schlechter geworden, oder? Weil wir jetzt keins von den Punkten getroffen haben. Perfekt. Hä? Na doch, es ist auf jeden Fall auf 3 geupgradet. Ach, dafür haben wir jetzt keine Perlen bekommen. Schade. Okay. Ich wollte schon wieder gleich losrennen. Das sollst du nicht. in das Spiel auch immer frage, ob man jetzt aufhören möchte zu spielen, nachdem man gespeichert hat.
Ich nehme, oh, zum Glück bin ich hier nochmal reingegangen. Schuppenküche. Okay, Anleitungsbuch mit dem Schuppenküche. Ein Blick hinein. Schuppenschild. Und Schuppenpanzer. Lol. Kriegt man gleich ein Rezept. Zum Beispiel zwei. Na toll. <lacht> man kriegt anscheinend auch gleich die Items, damit man das craften kann. Also wenn wir das Schuppenschild jetzt noch craften oder nicht? <lacht> ähm, nee, äh. Ja, komm. Wir machen das schnell noch. Gucken, ist das bei Waffen mit bei oder ist das Rüstungssachen mit bei? Schilde. Was mir ist da? Okay. Lull. Was war das denn? Okay, gibt es eine Reihenfolge, in der man das richtig machen könnte? Also wenn man... Zum Beispiel, ich habe das hier ja jetzt als zweites gemacht, das ist perfekt geworden. Hätte ich jetzt das als erstes genommen oder als drittes oder als viertes, wäre das denn nicht perfekt geworden? Hm... Gespeichert haben wir, wir müssten ausruhen. Okay, das hätte mich natürlich jetzt eben interessiert, ob es da eine optimale Reihenfolge gibt. Er kann gar keine Schilde nehmen. Schade. Okay. Life is the life for me. <laughs> What in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll. Tada! You called? Tricky devil at your service. <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge. I'm not about to let you fix it again. Here, get 
what a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift be! Lul, der wurde in den Hund verwandelt. You're a silly old woodcutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> Now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> Ooh. An empty treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Hä? Ich übersehe doch keine Kiste. Kann mich doch verarschen. Unten bei den großen Monstern, ne? Waren wir ja noch gar nicht. Tada! Introducing the one, the only Tricky Devil! Äh. Uh. You're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B then. Take this! Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just do, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you. For my next trick, I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! Ähm... Haben wir schon gesagt, dass wir... Ups. Falsche. Er kann das. Oh, ich hab Feuermagie. Oh, jetzt hast du versaut, Junge. Mir geht eigentlich sollte. Mm-hmm. 
Kombo-Kräfte. Our pal the pooch. <laughs> Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. <laughs> Bones has the haggard, Elder. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my camp? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean... It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil. A piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got great hair, too. Life <laughs> just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Okay, then gehen wir weiter. Aber erst im nächsten Part und ähm, die Quest abgeben, was gerade stand, werde ich offscreen. Also bis dahin, ciao.